Hello students, this is the third video based on practicals. In this video, we will discuss about 7 spots which are going to come in your practical exams. Let us see what you have to write and how to present these spots on answer sheet. This is the first category of spots you can get. Here you have to identify and comment upon the given flower adapted to pollination. Remember two things for writing spots. The first step in any spot should be identification step and write in total four points along with labeled diagram. Now see the spot one. Selvia flower is given to you. It can be given as original flower or in the form of a chart. After identification, write first point. The given flower is Selvia which is adapted to insect pollination and now write the other characteristic feature of these flower. Point 2. Flowers are brightly colored so that insects can be attracted. Point 3. The flowers are born on inflorescence means flowers are grouped together or clustered together in a definite pattern so that they can be visible to the insects. Point 4. Flowers have landing platform means petals ki shape is tara se hai ki insects can easily rest and collect nectar from the flower. And during this process, pollen grains insects ki body surface par stick ho jate hain and it results in pollination. So after writing these four points, then draw the diagram and label the important points as shown. Second spot is, this is the maize flower. It can also be given as original flower or in the form of a chart and now write the first identification step. Point 1. The given flower is of maize adapted to wind pollination. After this write other characteristic feature of the flower. Point 2. Flowers are small. They are colorless, odorless means no smell is there and they are nectarless means no nectar is produced. Now the point 3. Check their stamens. They are well exposed. And now see the stigma. It is hairy and feathery so that pollen grains ko catch kar sake. Point 4. Pollen grains light and non-sticky hote hain. And also they are produced in large number. So after writing these four points, draw the diagram with pencil and label the important parts. Second category of spots are from disease causing organisms. Here is first spot, it is plasmodium, jis ki slide aapko dikhai jayegi and after identifying the slide, write the first step. The given slide is of sporozoids, an infected stage of plasmodium which cause disease malaria. Second point is, sporozoids are spindle shape with one nucleus or you can say they are uninucleated. Point number three, they enter in human body by bite of female anopheles mosquito, which is a vector of the disease. And fourth point is, these sporozoids infect our liver cells and produce cryptomerozoids. After writing these four points, draw the diagram with pencil and label the important parts as shown. Second spot on this category is microsporum. Its slide will be shown to you along with picture of the diseased person as given below. Write the first point. This is microsporum. It is a fungus and it causes ringworm of scalp. Second point. This causes dry scaly lesions on skin. Patches may hair loss ho sakta hai yaha par. You can see the picture of a boy showing loss of hair in patches. Third point, the spores of microsporum easily detached and infection ko spread karte hain. And fourth point is, the infection is transmitted by using towels, clothes or even comb of an infected person. So, after writing these four important points, draw the diagram of fungal hyphae. Okay, with pencil as shown in the figure. Here is the third category of spots. 
you have to identify and comment upon the plant and animals adapted to aquatic environment. First spot is a plant velicinaria. Isko aapko specimen form mein ya chart form mein ya model form mein dikhaya ja sakta hai. And after identification, you have to write the comments. First point likhe ga isme. It is velicinaria, a submerged plant means completely dipped in water and it is found in fresh water. Point number two, stem is reduced stolen and roots help karti hai plants ko fix karne mein. And point number three, leaves ki shape ribbon shape ki hai so that it can withstand water currents. And point number four, the whole plant is covered with mucilage which protect it from the decay. Okay, and after writing this, you have to draw the diagram and label the important parts of the plant. Next spot in this category is a fish rohu, which is a freshwater fish. Isko aapko model form mein dikhaya ja sakta hai ya chart form mein dikhaya ja sakta hai. After identification, write these points. Point number one, it is rohu, a bony fish adapted to aquatic condition. This is the identification point. Next point is mouth ki position terminal hai, fins are present which help in swimming, respiration ke liye gills hai which are covered with operculum and body is covered with scales to make the body impermeable to water. And after writing these four points, draw the diagram as shown in the figure and label the important parts. Fourth category of spots are from plant and animal that are adapted to xeric conditions. These spots may be in the form of models or charts again. Identify kiji or comment kiji. First spot hai yahan par euphorbia. Okay. It is adapted to xeric condition. This is the point number one. Then point number two. Their leaves fall during drought but remains during rainy season. This is the second point. Now come to third point. See the modification of stem. It is green, shiny and perform the function of photosynthesis. Point number four, stem has spines which reduce transpiration and also protect the plant from grazing animals. So these are the main four points. After this draw the diagram and label the parts. Next spot is kangaroo rat. After identification, from the chart or the model given, write the point number one. It is kangaroo rat adapted to xeric condition. Point number two, it is nocturnal means it is active during the night. Point number three, it excretes solid urine. And very interesting point about kangaroo rat is they can live without drinking water from birth till death. Point number four, they use metabolic water means water which is formed during the chemical reactions in the body. Now after this draw the diagram and label the important parts. Next category is here you have to identify stages of meiosis in a given slide and then you have to comment. Meiosis ki stages aapko microscope ke through identify karni hai means aapko slide dikhaya jayega you have to identify the slide and then comment upon this point number one dekhe kaun si slide hai aapke saamne this slide shows the diplotene stage of meiosis one point number two what happens in this stage here two chromosomes of each bivalent move apart point number three but these homologous chromosomes join together at a point called Chiasmata. This is very important point in the diplotene stage. And then after this, you have to draw the diagram and show the chiasma. Okay. Next spot of this category is metaphase 1 meiosis 1 stage. Hai. After looking in the slide, you have to write the characteristic feature of metaphase 1 meiosis 1. First point likhe hai par. The given slide is metaphase 1 meiosis 1 stage. Then Point number two, spindle fibers are formed. Okay. And then point number three, homologous chromosomes arrange themselves at the equator of the spindle. And then after writing this, draw the diagram and label the parts. Clear? 
Next spotting is from pedigree analysis. Here the pedigree of blood group in a family is given with one question. So read the question and then comment. Question dekhi kya hai? Mention the blood group and genotype of offspring. Numbered 1 in generation 2 and numbered 2 in generation 3. Okay. So 1 and 2 ka aapko genotype as well as blood group batana hai. See the pedigree carefully and write. Numbered 1 offspring of second generation. Blood group kya hoga yahan par? Blood group will be B. As in the third generation, their offspring is having blood group AB. And genotype kya hoga? Numbered 1 offspring ka? It will be capital IB and small i. Now come to next. Numbered 2 offspring in third generation. Blood group may be either O or A. And if it is O, genotype kya hoga? Small i, small i. And if it is A, then the genotype will be capital I A and small i. Remember, before solving blood groups pedigree, you must know the chart which is given in front of you. Aapko ye chart ko properly dhyan rakhna hai, then only you can answer these type of questions related with the blood group. So, that's all for today. Thank you very much for staying with me. Subscribe the channel to get the information about my new video. Thank you, thank you so much.